Oh, namaste. Welcome or welcome back to Great Arrows. So how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope it's an amazing day for you. So if you're new here, if you like my content, please support my channel. If you have already supported me, thank you so very much for all the love and the support means a lot to me. Thank you so very much. So in the description box, I have my Instagram page link as well as the text that I'm using will also be listed. If you need any information, check the description box. So the topic for today is this is starting for you. So let's see what is starting for you guys. What is this new beginning that is coming your way? so we have six images to choose from so one two three four five six i chose the theme of rainbow because after the rain comes the rainbow after the worst comes the rainbow so uh the, yeah so that's what the theme i've uh, that's why i chose the rainbows so take your time pause the video if you need to and choose the image that calls you intuitively the timestamps will be in the description box and always remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest and these are timeless readings as well so whenever you watch this reading might have a message for you and i will see you on the mistake group number one this is the image that you have been drawn to let's see what is the message this is starting for you now okay so this is what is starting for you so that's the topic okay so i was seeing letter l maybe letter l is important is of importance maybe your name starts with letter letter l and l for me is love okay i'm hearing the word love so something with love and mainly i'm feeling like divine love divine love is pouring into your life you you can feel the connection now you are seeing a lot of signs synchronicities yes i feel like there 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 will be a lot of coincidences as well and you will know exactly that it's not a coincidence it's a core incident so a lot of small small magic miracles you will be seeing that's what is starting for you guys um yeah you will be thinking something and someone will be sh uh, saying that like that kind of uh small small things i i really feel like you will be uh, seeing that is one thing i'm i'm saying strongly for you guys and i i i feel like you will be start you are already someone who has started to believe in magic and once we start to believe in magic we see more of that uh, so sometimes you will be seeing a bird that you have been thinking of or maybe you will see a rare bird uh, maybe you'll be seeing numbers more it feels like not numbers and not seeing that angel numbers it's more like small small things that you will uh, that will make you feel like yes universe is listening to you universe is uh, with you right that's that's what i'm getting the feeling here okay and we have om as well so om is a very strong vibration the word is very strong so uh, chanting om mantra is very good for you guys i feel like that uh, so every day start your day with chanting om it will really really lift you up it will it will it will make you your vibration high so start your day with that okay so let's see what is starting for you guys i'm also seeing rabbit maybe for some of you rabbit you might have uh, asked for a sign and you might have asked for a rabbit or something like that like show me that rabbit so one of your signs is uh, might be rabbit for some of some of you it's specific i've been shown rabbits like jumping they're like running okay so yeah a uh, rabbit what rabbits mean to you guys take that message okay so let's uh, let's see the charms here. What is starting for my group number one? Uh, wow. We have this flower, then we have the leaves. <laughs> spring season is starting for you guys. Literally, we are in the spring season, right? Uh, if we are in the... Yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure about the hemisphere, but yes, one hemisphere is uh, fall season, uh, other hemisphere is like northern hemisphere is spring, spring, right? So anyways, we are in the spring season and yes, spring is starting for you guys. If you haven't felt like that, spring is definitely starting for you guys. Now, the um, for some of you, uh, yes, uh, with this uh, green green flower and butterflies that was that is the change from the winter to the spring even though the climate might have changed yeah, maybe it's already spring you might have not felt like that uh, but that's what is uh, happening here so, uh, things are blossoming this is definitely a new beginning with the spring flowers are blossoming uh, you are feeling good in your body as well that is also something i'm feeling like if you have been drained exhausted if you have didn't have the energy to keep going your energy is shifting you will be feeling energetic you will be like yes i want to wake up early 
you will have a lot of energy that is what i'm getting here so that's one thing i'm uh, feeling like that's changing and i also feel like as your connection with the divine is increasing you have let go of a lot of things that troubled you a lot of stresses that troubled you and that's also the reason that you have a lot of energy yeah so let's see what else Group number one, this is starting for you. What is starting for you? The spring season is starting for you, <laughs> right? Anyways, I... Okay, so we have the card on the floor. So let me take it. Wow, look again, we were talking about the spring and community. Like it's, it feels like someone who was not going out often. Now they're going out, connecting with people, celebrating. Maybe for some of you, you will have a lot of social activities also with this community maybe you will have a group of friendships uh, yeah a group of people who you share uh, like same values now you can communicate with them there's a lot of happiness right these people can connect with you they don't judge you so maybe for some of you going out going to shopping having fun laughing a lot that's what is changing here that's what the thing is like you also have the energy to keep going right going out maybe you didn't feel like going out but now that's not the case. It feels like the rabbit is like jumping, so running. So you now you also have that kind of energy now. So maybe your energy is changing. You're shifting. You're now ready to go out, meet new people. Maybe you were not ready before. Now you're ready, right? That's what the change is. Now you're feeling internally, you're feeling very good. So that's why you're going out more. And for some of you, this can be like your community is also changing, right? So maybe you were with people who you couldn't uh, trust or maybe you were with people who you couldn't, uh, you know, align. Maybe you didn't share the same values or maybe this po people didn't understand you. That's also shifting. So you might, you are meeting friends that will understand you, that are, that are on your same level. They know who you really are. What are your preferences? Like... They don't cross their, you know, their boundaries. Some, sometimes people cross their boundaries and you're not going to be with that kind of people. These people know their boundaries, their limits. They're not going to cross it. So that's, that's what I'm getting here. The change of community, the change of people. But these people, so yeah, letting go of certain people and now you are uh, with different people. But at the same time, these people you're going to enjoy with these people okay so good friendships are starting for you guys good people yeah uh, yeah that's what i'm getting here you're meeting new people good people yeah so so that's the reason you're meeting good people so now you want to go out with these people maybe before you didn't like to go out because the people were not that great right so yeah so that's what i'm getting here so new beginning new friendships new people New community so let's see what else what is starting for you group number one we have the willow oh we have the number 23 here maybe uh, yeah 23 number five things are changing for you guys yes I feel like you have for some of you you might have been in toxic friendships Yes, that's changing. You're ending those kinds of friendship and you're meeting new people who you can actually rely on. One most important thing I'm feeling here, the change is like boundaries. You know where your boundaries are. They know where their boundaries are. No one is crossing each other's boundaries. But before it was not the case. The people used to cross their boundaries, make you do something that you don't want to do, maybe teasing. Like sometimes people do that in the name of friendship where they don't... Um, yeah, they don't even recognize that the other person is not liking it. They just kind of force because we are friends, we are best friends, we can do anything. But sometimes it's too much. The other person might not like it and they don't even see it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like that energy. When, yeah, it's, uh, yeah if, you're, if you're with people who are just teasing you and you're not li liking it, it's not great friendship then, right? If you're enjoying it, it's other thing. But if you're not, it's not, right? They should stop. And I feel like you're meeting the people. That's the huge change I feel like. You're meeting the people who understand you. They will look at your face and they will know, yeah, 
they don't like that so we we'll, we need to sh- stop it it's something they don't enjoy right so we cannot force the, uh, yeah they will stop that's what that's what it is like the whole people people are changing ar- uh, around you you're getting out of this toxic friendship toxic people and you're meeting people who really value you as a person who oh uh, yeah they value your comfort as well because you are someone who values other people com- comfort you read the room right you are not someone who sh- say something uh, bad that will make other people bad right you read the room and now you are also meeting those kinds of people who actually read the room and say things uh yeah in yeah say things that's good not that doesn't discourage yeah that's what i'm getting here the community changes there like the people are changing the snake people are going like the people who um talk behind the back gossip you're out of those pe- yeah those friendships those people those community that's what is shifting here and that's why you will be very much encouraged to go out with these people you were you will be making plans to go out with these people because you will enjoy it will be comfortable a lot of comfort will be there you will learn so much from these people you will be giving your uh, yeah what you have knowledge you have and and uh, they will be giving their knowledge maybe you're changing departments in your work uh, yeah something is changing here definitely there is this end it's a, it's in a good way right and that's what i'm getting here we have number 23 as well so yeah okay i feel like you will be learning a lot from these people new outlook new way of seeing things you will be learning a lot from these people so let's see what the tarot has to add what is starting for you new friendships definitely i feel like that and these friendships are very good like it's spring it's blossoming it's full of life right uh yeah what is starting for group number 1 wow look 10 oh for some of you uh, this 10 of pentacles like friends like family yeah sometimes we uh, yeah maybe you are someone who ha- have hadn't that kind of friendships where you felt like uh your friends are like your family they will be there for uh yeah they will be there for you at any time you know you're getting that kind of friendship is starting yes right now it's just starting phase but as you move forward over the years this will these friends will become like family yes that's one thing and we have 10 of pentacles as well for some of you romance is also there for some of you i even feel like you're getting married and you're moving to a new community that is also a big a big change here yes uh, for some of you with this below as well you're letting go of yeah one house and moving to another that is there but it's a good good change here this will make you happy but yeah one thing i'm very strongly feeling is that the people you are going to be with they are going to value you value your skills value you as a person not because you offer something just as a person they are going to value you and that's why you are uh, yeah you will feel uh, like the spring energy inside of you right you will feel uh that vitality that that joy that pleasure so yeah let's see more again we were talking about spring there is a lot of roses here we have that also like yeah so let's see what's starting for you for some of you moving to a new home new neighborhood and this neighborhood is good new place new people yes new place new people three of pentacles safe environment look again the nest you will be feeling safe with these people yes the, the you know once this start this friendship starts it's not going to move at a very fast pace like yeah it will take its time but yes it will be there for a long period of time you they will become they will, these people will become your safety net and you will become their safety net right Uh, so for some of you this can be three people right three people three friends um again for some of you it's you starting your family um with this three x uh, so getting married starting a family that's what is starting for you guys there is a lot of uh, happiness here uh, three people are 
are in harmony with each other. That is also something I'm seeing here. Uh, yeah, three or four. Because we have four people here. We have three people here. We have three eggs here. <laughs> yes, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So, ten of pentacles and three of pentacles is amazing. So, for some of you in your work as well, this these are the people maybe you're meeting in work. You're working together in harmony. And because of it, they are also getting the benefit. You're also getting the benefit. There is a lot of financial gain as well if it's a creative endeavor. Uh, yeah. So, if you were in a team, maybe before you were in a team where people were not... not uh, in alignment they were not working together in a proper way and there were a lot of arguments or maybe there was a lot of backstabbing that's all is over that's all is over you know you're meeting with you're working with people or meeting people who are in harmony with each other they they want the benefit not only for themselves but for other people as well so they work as a team yeah because everyone has different skills and ev when everyone brings that skill and they become a strong team, good things happen. The outcome is very good, right? No one wants their only advantage. Everyone wants everyone's advantage. Like that's what the energy is. So very good team, very good community, very good place. I feel like that's what the change is. Toxic environment. You're getting out of toxic environment. Toxic people who use for money, who use for your, yeah, yeah. They might some, want something. That's why they call. You're letting go of those people and you're meeting people who will become like family. Even if it's work, co-workers, they will become like family. It's rare, right? And I'm getting that kind of energy. For some of you, this is starting a family. Um, yeah, a safe, a safe. It is, this is going to be safe. Whatever this is, it's safe. It's 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 full of comfort. It, it, it will give you the happiness, right? It's, it's calm. It's peaceful. Look, we have the empress. For some of you getting pregnant, uh, yeah, that is also there. Uh, we have empress, yeah. So, yeah, definitely it feels like that. Uh, where you're feeling good it's the spring season that's what is starting for you spring season in your work spring season in your friendships spring season in your family spring season in your love this is something that this is new right so yeah but again this is not going to move very fast they will take their time to know each other and then only yeah so let's see Wow, look, great happiness. Definitely, that's what I was picking up here. There's victory as well, happiness. You're, yeah, you're with people. When we are with good people, we feel happy, isn't it? That's what is it, it is. We enjoy our work as well because we are good people. We want to go to work because the people are very good, right? That's what the energy is. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Happiness. Yes, desk. Again, it's like for some of you with work as well, you will be happy to go to work. You will be happy to meet the people in work because they are, uh, yeah, they are in alignment. So maybe if you are not changing work, maybe there are new people coming in your work area and these people will become like friends. So you will be looking forward to work uh, because you are meeting them, you are talking to them. So yeah, maybe you are starting a new project as well. So that you will be very excited to go to work because you love what you do. So for some of you, that is also there. There is work here. So trust yourself, trust your ideas. That is also one thing I'm seeing here. Believe in yourself. Um, yeah, there is a lot of happiness in your work area. I really feel like that the people you're working with, you will be happy to work with them, with this community and three of pentacles. So maybe a new project is coming. You're working with three people or you're collaborating with people and this is going to give you good returns. Your hard work will pay off. Yes. You will get the victory. So let's see. I heard for some of you bonus as well, making more money than usual. That is also happening. It's like spring. Things are good. Things are good now. Things are like that's what is starting like a lot of joy a lot of pleasure. Maybe you will work with them then go out have fun with them. Right. Yeah. So work life is work life like work life balance as well. Yeah. Not overworking at the same time. Productively working, right? Making the you using your time wisely. That's what I'm getting here. So let's see what is starting for you. What is starting for Gryffindor? Okay. We have speak your truth. Oh yeah. 
again i feel like these people are not interested in other people's life other people's private life these people they just talk about deep things like maybe you will be learning a lot from these people maybe yeah they are very invested in their work they are very authentic so they speak their truth and it will also encourage you to speak your truth more uh, yes there is no uh, yeah there are no snakes that's what i'm getting like the people who talk very sweetly in front of us and behind the back they go say no these are not that kind of people these are honest people you are meeting we have number 10 twice right yeah so one thing i see that if there were people around you who were toxic right who were who used to gossip a lot speak ill of you you're getting out of that situation and you're meeting people who are honest very authentic people they don't like gossip they don't uh, involve themselves in these shitty things right they don't like that kind of uh, dramas they are they're someone who stays away from drama and you are also someone who doesn't like drama right you want peace and these people are also like that <laughs> they speak their truth if they don't like something they are not going to uh, like uh, through their actions sometimes when people are angry through their actions they make things worse no they are not going to make things work worse they will just share their i didn't like this like so so they both of the both the parties can communicate properly and end that right so yes there is no drama now there is no drama people are authentic you can see them very clearly they, they yeah and work so so that's why you can focus on the work it's like light like you don't have to think about all the drama the useless stuff every everyone is honest in a way authentic they know what they want from you and they will share it right they are not going to hide certain things they are not going to talk in puzzles they are not going to make make you do extra things that you don't have to do they are not going to use you yeah that's what i'm getting here so that's why you can focus clearly on your work what you want to grow your goals you're not going to be thinking of all the dramas all the other stuff that is not even important you will not be thinking about that because yeah it feels like you're working with healthy healthy minded people right yeah that's what it feels like they have done their work now yeah it feels like they have done their work they have worked on themselves so you are not going to get that kind of yeah shitty things that you used to get before yeah that's what i'm getting here yeah yeah so let's see they are very honest people authentic honest people you are working with so you will be learning so much from them as well so let's see what the final message is for group number 1 so maybe for some of you who are getting a new job are you working on a new project with other people or are you collaborating something like that is there for some of you this can be romantic connection and their family is also very good uh, yeah working in it feels like a team that is working in har- harmony it, it doesn't matter if it's work if it's friendship or if it's family but everyone is working in harmony communicating uh, truthfully right and and it will make you also do that because these people are doing it you will learn you get you will get influence from them so let's see i feel like you're already working on yourself and these people will influence you more yes beauty way look again there is a beauty way for everything sometimes people do it in a dirty way isn't it when something goes wrong so so or when something does some when someone does something they don't open up they they will not share it with with you they will go back stab they will talk behind your back and create a lot of dramas that's not even necessary sometimes isn't it so you're out of those all things these are people who will be very authentic like you did this and i didn't like it can you change it and you know you can talk it out without arguing you know you can resolve things in a beautiful way that's what is happening here <laughs> that's what is starting for you guys here so you don't have to deal with a lot of crap you don't have to think too much i feel like half of your thoughts will go because you don't have to think what others will think because you're with people who are very who are very open they will share what they feel and if there is some issues they will solve it in a beautiful way right that's what i'm getting here so that's the message for group number 1 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye number 2 this is the image that you have chosen so let's see what is starting for you group number 2 so we have the hummingbirds hummingbirds are good news bringers they bring a lot of joy and whenever i uh, see hummingbirds joy joy is what the word that pops up 
Uh, so let's see what is starting for you guys. A lot of creative ideas. I feel like that if you have an idea, start if you're if you really feel like you need to start doing this, like an idea is idea is there, please work on it. You're ready. Uh, as you work on that idea, you will be seeing uh, growth. Okay. So let's see what else is starting for you. Yes, it feels like you have been in the desert for a very long time. No matter how hard you walk, how fast you walk, you were not able to reach where you wanted to reach. Uh, yes, it feels like the Oyas is like you thought that you're reaching your goal, but you never reached like the Saturn energy, right? Yes, again, we have the cycle. So somehow it, it feels like you were stuck in the desert, right? For a while, you were using all your resources that you had. It was too tough, but you didn't give up. You balanced yourself. You protected yourself. You took control. You didn't give up. You kept going with this um, uh, this um, cycle and horse. And that's what is happening. Now, all your hard work is paying off. So in the desert, if you look at the image, there is desert. It's in the desert. The hummingbirds are there, right? So yes, so this, this is what it feels like here. So you were in the desert. You were seeking for water. You, no matter what you did, it was dry desert. You used all your resources. You, you didn't give up. You balanced yourself. Again, it feels like you were working with your inner self. Uh, uh, yeah, you were trying to manifest something. If I see like you, maybe you have a business and you were trying to manifest more growth in your business. No matter how hard you tried, nothing went. Nothing progressed, right? But you didn't give up. You used all your resources. You tried your best with the Saturn energy, right? Now Saturn is going to bless you. That's what it is. Now things are opening up for you guys. Maybe more and more people want your services, want your products. Uh, more and more people are communicating with you. Maybe you will be collaborating with people. So now finally, things are moving forward for you guys in an area where things were very dry, okay? So yes, the wheel is turning in your favor here. You will be very safe and protected. Yes, and again with this dog, you know, there were people around you who were actually protecting you. Yes, even though you were feeling like you are in this dry, dry desert, no matter how hard you try, you are not getting to the water, right? There were people who were helping you. But now finally things are, with, with this horse and this, um, this cycle, things are moving forward. You are out of this dry desert, you know where the water is. Now you are getting the water, your hard work is paying off, right? Again, I, I, chariot energy, right? Things moving forward. Yo, yeah, if it's like a hobby of yours that you have been working on, you will be seeing momentum growth in that area. So for some of you, you will be able to even um, even make your hobby your career, something like that. So let's see what else for group number two. More and more people are seeing your work, recognizing your efforts. Yes, that's what the message is. So we have angel of balance. Again, the desert, the pyramid. Look, look at it. Yes. So you have been praying for something. Yes, your prayers are going to be answered. That's what it is. So something you have been praying for. You have felt like the cactus. The cactus lives in the desert and they have the resources. So yes, I feel like... Uh, Divine was always with you, supporting you, helping you to balance, right? When things were too tough, Divine used to help you. They, divine, with this dog, you know, Divine did um, did help you. Uh, yeah, maybe people came at the correct time. So the resources were given, but you didn't get to the goal that you really wanted, right? Now, finally, you're out of the desert. Uh, yes, it feels like uh, you wanted like a whole like whole water like this much water you wanted like maybe you wanted a bucket of water you were getting just drops now that bucket of water will be given to you guys that's what i'm getting here so again the resources that's what i was telling you so when you needed that one drop or two drops you were given it given but the whole pack whole things were whole bucket of water was not given metaphorically so you were trying to get that and now you're getting that whole bucket of water so yes you have worked with your inner self i feel like that in this journey uh, when you were in this desert area you just kept going you just trusted divine right you balanced yourself you learned to balance yourself i really feel like one thing that is like one of your manifestation that you have been praying right you're really praying you you want this thing that's what is coming here and you have learned a lot uh, about 
how law of attraction work in this journey, how to balance yourself, you have learned that, you have worked with your inner self here. So that's that's what I'm getting. So let's see. You were thirsty for something. Now you're getting the water. So as you were thirsty, one, two drops you got, but you didn't get that full bottle of water that could really take away your thirst. Now finally you're getting that and now you're, you will not be thirsty anymore. Yes, you were thirsty for something, right? That's in a metaphorical way, right? You're getting that. Things are balancing there. Yeah, you will not be thirsty. You will have enough. So let's see group number two. Wow, we have lock, uh, fox glove. We have number 18. Yes, we uh, the number nine, right? 18 reduces to number nine. And number nine is this end of this journey, right? This deserted journey that you, you were in this desert journeying, trusting. Finally, that's ending for you guys. Now you're reaching uh, the thing that you really want. Again, the triangle is there here, the pyramid. Look at that shape. So you you have been aligning your body, mind and spirit. You have been working with spirit. Yes, you have been trusting. Your faith, your trust is going to be rewarded for you guys at this time. That's, yeah, one of your biggest manifestation is coming into fruition. Yeah. And here, right now with this fox glove, keep on trusting. Keep on trusting yourself. Uh, yes, maybe there will be people who will come and give you guidance. Right now, I, as, I, as I'm telling you, what is starting is like you're getting your manifestation. You're at the end of this journey. Don't take the advice of other people. You know, you know that you will reach. Have that trust, have that faith. Use your own guidance, use your own wisdom. You, are a you, are, you have balanced yourself. Your inner self is balanced. You know what's good for you, what, uh, what is best for you. So take your own advice right now, okay? Yes, not other people's advice. So, group number two. Again, the Triskelion symbol. Please check that spiritual meaning of Triskelion symbol. Maybe there is a message there. I really feel like you have aligned your body, mind and spirit here. You have aligned yourself. You, you are in alignment right now. Your, what are you thinking? Uh, your inner is steady now. So what are you thinking internally? That's what is going to be external given to you guys. So yes, th there was no... Before... The reason why you were in this desert because your internal and your external didn't match, right? Now, as you were keep as you were in this deserted area, you kept going. You learned so much. You aligned your internal and external. These two things aligned. Now that's where you're getting your manifestation. You're at the end. End. Soon you will be receiving your manifestation. That's what is starting. This thing that you were praying for, it's coming. It's coming. You're ready to receive that. Things are moving forward. Things are moving forward for you guys. Progress, momentum, growth. The energy is gaining momentum. Yes. That's what is starting for you. Yes. Look, you have cried a lot, right? You might have felt frustrated. You might have felt heart, heartbroken, right? That's what is changing. You're healing that. You're healing that. Again, we have this Saturn energy in number eight. Sometimes when things go around and around where you're not getting uh yeah when you're not getting the outcome you want it's painful it's frustrating I, I know that it's frustrating when we don't get it even though how hard we try but sometimes some things inside of us needs to change some sort of limited beliefs needs to change in order to uh, in order to get to that uh desire of ours and i feel like you have been working on that you have been healing that you have been understanding what was not working out you have been letting go of and that's why the progress is coming here you're on the correct path right now things are going to move forward for you guys there is progress here yes i feel like as you have been going on this journey you have healed a lot of your past things as well i yeah yes we have two of wands Look, we have eight of wands as well. Things are coming faster than you expect. Things are moving fast for you guys, guys. That's what I have to say. That's what is starting for you guys. Two of wands, what you have planned, what you have prepared. Now it's time for progress. It's time for growth. It's time for expansion. You will feel like the world is in your hands and you can have anything that you want. Every There, there is this alignment. Stars are in alignment. You're going to see the growth. Look again. There is this look at this this is the clouds it's gloomy it's raining and now here the sun is shining so bright <laughs> yes so yeah the sun is going to shine very very bright for you guys so let's see what else here what is starting for my lovely group number two group number two okay wow yes 
triumph over trouble obstacles troubles yes you understood like the eagle you understood what was not balanced in this journey you have understood so you know for example a person who is doing business they are not seeing the success and then they understand what limited patterns they are carrying why they are not able to get the success because they have been doing everything that needs to be done right they have been working on their business they know that they have skills but sometimes things are not coming into fruition things are not coming together and and then then they look inside of themselves like they have like they understand yeah this needs to be healed this is why this limited belief is the reason that i am not able to progress in this area of your of my life and you are understanding that you're balancing it and you're rising above that thing so yes there is victory coming here you are getting to this manifestation of yours and that manifestation is coming very fast for you guys uh, yeah you have balanced your root chakra as well something some something with safety security i feel like you had the, you know you had a pattern you have cut the cords with it you have cut the cords yes now prepare for the good news news is on the way things are moving forward things are flying look we have deep personal strength and peace that assures success yes yes you you didn't give up guys it has been a tough journey right being in the desert in the hot being thirsty is not easy right but you went with it you didn't give up you worked on yourself you did the inner work finally the good times are coming you cut the cords you have cut the cords uh with your patterns now there is success that has been assured okay okay so we have yeah bag yes now you're going to get your bag that you have been searching for right so something important such as a new job or raise so yes maybe for some of you want to grow your business or maybe you want to make your uh, hobby your career that is all is coming true for you guys whatever it is maybe you're searching for a job maybe you're making you want to make more money anything you're seeing in a progress in that area of your life because you're healing certain things from the past and you're healing certain limitations right you're letting go of certain limitations you're cutting codes with something and that's the reason here of this growth your work you have really really gone through a lot i feel like that but you didn't give up the saturn energy right it's like the strict father it's difficult but once it's happy once the saturn is happy a lot of blessings that's what it feels like so yes let's see it feels like there was a point of time where you complained where you blamed for other other people then you will realize blaming is not going to do anything you have already realized that you took responsibility for your own life and that's healed a lot of things and now you are in this energy where you have the world in your hands like again she is she has this she is holding something maybe you want to hold something and you will be able to hold that thing that you're manifesting here yeah yeah wow yeah look again something with your gifts something with your gifts something with your talents something with your skills maybe there is a hobby that you're pursuing more and more people will be liking that look look at the cute tiger and number 3 maybe you're seeing a lot of 333 three, three, and 3 three again the tri uh, the triangle right the body mind and soul you have aligned your body mind and soul you have done the inner work guys you definitely have done the inner work <laughs> there is no doubt here and now finally you will be uh seeing seeing the growth yeah the growth the expansion you're going to celebrate this thing so something that didn't work out before it's working out out now and yes there was a reason why it didn't work out it was not because you didn't have the skills but there was something some sort of limitation that you carried from your past you had to understand it and you had to let go of it and you have you're doing that right now i feel like or maybe for some of you have understood it you have released it now you're in a place where you're feeling good even though you haven't manifested it yet you're feeling good about yourself about your life and finally you will be manifesting it more and more people will be knowing about your uh, gifts there is recognition i see here <laughs> yeah look uh, the tiger look at the cute tiger look oh, it's so beautiful right cute it's it's just smiling and you will be like smiling <laughs> yeah you will be so happy like you will be so proud of yourself you you made it happen right you made it happen so let's see the final message um okay 
the blade oh again the blade and we have the scissor as well so cutting something you have cut something you have walked away from something you have walked away from a pattern limitation limited belief or a person or yeah something that affected your success it come in it came in between your success you have let go of it completely so look we have the corn now it's the harvest time now it's like the results are paying off right you have got that you have been in this journey understanding what is that thing that is that is stopping your success why you understood it you healed it now you're going to get that success like the success so yeah uh, so that's all i have for my lovely group number two hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye if you have been drawn to the group or group number three this is your image let's see what is starting for you guys i heard union union you becoming uh an alignment with something that you're desiring for some of you if you're single getting into relationship uh, i feel like that you're getting out of this uh this single life you're getting in union for some of you this is like something that you want to hold um this is a manifestation maybe you want to hold keys to something yes you're coming yeah you're getting that you're become you're coming in union with it yeah it can be friendship as well but let's see what else the charms have to say okay oh look wow you have been praying for this thing you have been committed to this thing yes you want this thing you have, you pray every day you know maybe this is something like you have work and i'll just tell an example you're single okay you have work you're focusing on your work that might be your first priority but whenever you go uh, to pray you will just pray like please end my single life i want someone in my life right it's just not something that is very strong strong for you guys yes but at the same time you want it this is that kind of union like a person uh, who is uh, like for in my case uh, yeah i don't have that many friends okay i don't have that kind of good friendship but this is not my priority right now but at the time i always like pray i i i want a good friend right you know that that like i want a friend i i want a deep friendship right but at the same time now i'm not chasing it i'm not looking for it i'm just like praying here's yeah, just an example i always pray for that right it's it's there it's there this is this is that kind of thing that is coming true so again you might not be ready to get into a relationship you're not uh, you know you're not going out every day looking for uh, to be in a relationship no but yes you want it so you pray for it please give me a good partner or maybe it's like you have a job now you're happy with it but maybe you want promotion but that's not something you're chasing but you would pray every day like i want this much money i want to grow <laughs> yeah so yeah this is something that is like near and dear to your heart you want it at the same time um you're not so attached to it that's what is coming that's what you're going to be in union with here yeah <laughs> this is this is what the charms look again uh, this is something you deeply want you want desire it with the starfish and uh, with this pentacle you dis deeply desire it but right now maybe it's not your priority but you always pray for it that's what you are coming in union with that's what is starting for you guys okay so if if like you if you're like you're making enough money but maybe you feel like i want to make this much of extra money as well so that might be starting for you guys for some of you as i mentioned relationship as uh, so a let's see oh look we have lord krishna as well so lord krishna is here helping you <laughs> he has heard your all your prayers so let's see what is starting for my group number 3 wow oh my god your intuition for some of you you might be like that also i want to uh, i want to develop my intuitive abilities yes you're not chasing for it but you want it right you're praying for it and you will be seeing that your intu intuition is going to be much stronger you are very intuitive okay your spiritual gifts are expanding your prayers are, have been heard so maybe you are meditating every day to improve your intuition yes that's working out you will be very you you will uh, be making decisions based on your intuition and as you make decisions based on your intuition you will be seeing good results so i see one of the things that is starting for you guys is like your intuitive abilities are going to be upgraded it will be right on point your intuition will be right on point in this deck goddess of the moon is the intuitive card 
it's like her intuition is strong so for the exam for an example i uh, yeah a person who is going in a car right and then they just are in this middle middle and they are like no please don't take this route take this route don't go left go right because in the left it will be trouble so uh, so they go right and they reach their home and later they get the news that if they had taken the left route it might have been full of traffic and they would not, no, they would not have reached at the correct time so like that your intuition is that going that's what your intuition intuition is going to be very very strong that's what is starting for you guys yes for some of you this is you getting in union with your spiritual gifts your, yeah uh, but yeah that's what it is okay your intuition is going to be very strong guys you will be protected your intuition will be protecting you so trust your intuition your crown chakra is opened i feel like that your third eye is open so trust those ideas as well that you're receiving work on those ideas okay so we have the bella donna it feels like yeah you will be warned you will be warned before something like again the intuition you will feel like this feeling like yeah this is what i need to do so whenever you feel that you're in crossroads trust your own instincts it will give you amazing results you're protected you're safe that's what it is your intuition is going to be on point it feels like uh, the bird will be warning you like don't go there it feels like that that is how your intuition will be so trust your intuition guys you're in, there is a spiritual upgrade like it feels like your spiritual um abilities are upgraded now you can uh, hear your intuition very properly or you can see your like the vision in vision you can see it maybe your clear audience maybe your clear sentience you can feel it right so trust your intuition your intuition is going to be very very strong so uh, whatever class you are clear audience clear sentience clear cognizance uh, clear voice it doesn't matter maybe you all you have all the four but there is a major upgrade you will be able to see this thing very clearly so trust your instincts guys trust your gut you will be protected you will be safe yeah so something is completing as well if there was some sort of project that was incomplete it will be completed as well and you will be able to come in union with the results right so something that you have been working on you're getting the results so that getting the results means union with it like you're getting what you want right yeah so it feels like a child that wanted a toy has been crying and finally now he is in union with his toy <laughs> that that that's what i'm getting here so yeah maybe and for some of you this union as i mentioned this spiritual gift you want to develop it you want it but you might not be too much into it right yeah this, that's what it feels like but this this gift of yours is going to change your life in a very awesome way because you can trust it it will give you amazing results yeah you yeah be committed to it so please com be committed to your intuition here to your emotions to your feelings so group number 3 i didn't th think this will go this way <laughs> i thought it's about relationship it's more about your gifts here okay yeah it can be relationship but more about your gifts your spiritual gifts your own intuition you're coming in union with your own intuition you're coming in union with your own heart and your heart is guiding you and you trust and as you trust you see good things happening and you trust more and then you see that your life is becoming easier because you're trusting your own heart your own intuition right so let's see what else here group number 3 Mm, we have the king of cups again your heart your body your mind is alignment now you can see yeah you can see you can feel you can hear your intuition like yeah the message is from spirit very clearly you know exactly what you need to do and do it your yang and your ying is balanced yes that's what it is you yeah your there is the spiritual gift upgrade you will yeah maybe you are already trying uh, to work with your spiritual gifts but you're not chasing it as i mentioned it's not your first priority you're working on it you're not too into it but as you as uh, yeah that's the reason why there is this upgrade because you're not chasing it you you want it at the same time you don't have any resistance to this thing so that's why you're getting it right uh, so yeah so this so let's see what else here for some of you when you will be meeting the one for some of you definitely there is union in love as well you will know exactly this is the person you will know it deep inside of you there will be no explanation why this is the this is the one there will there will there will be no explanation but there will be a feeling like yes this is the one for some of you if you're single you're meeting the one and this person can be of water sign cancer 
Scorpio Pisces <laughs> yes I'm getting and this person might be a very well balanced person very very knowledgeable very wise person this person can be older than you as well okay so yeah for some of you this can be friendship as well yeah yeah seven of wands again it feels like this person is doing certain rituals and there is this magic that has been given to them <laughs> again the divine is giving that magic to them that you know in some some movies we see like that happening yeah um, yeah that they're getting that magic from the sky and it feels like that you got that magic or you got that gift from the skies and now you can use it for your own advantage <laughs> That's what it feels like. There is this upgrade, definitely. You might have been meditating, you might have been praying, but you have this. I seriously feel like you, even though you want it, you're not so much chasing it. You know, the most uh, important part of law of attraction is that the moment we start chasing it, the moment we are focused on the outcome, we never get that thing. And here, that's the awesome part. Like, you're not chasing, you're not focused on the uh, outcome. Rather, you are just like, okay, I will do, do this. I will meditate every day. I will work on it. I will pray every day. If it happens, it happens, right? Like that. And that's why you are having this major update. Update, yes, it feels like a software that is updated. And your body is like this operating system. Your operating system has been upgrade, upgraded. And you're getting all the apps, like <laughs> the intuitive apps. Now you can use it to your advantage, like the GPS, right? If you want to go we go to the gps we get to the correct direction right like that this intuition is like an app your intuition like your abilities right it's like an app um now you can use it to your advantage and it's it's giving you amazing results like it's giving you the clarity with this ace of swords you're getting clarity you're getting the information that you need at the correct time so you're making correct decisions for yourself it's going to change your life in a bad, best way yeah so let's see so maybe yeah it feels like you have balanced your feminine energy now you can listen to your own heart and like it's it's a way of living you yeah you listening to your heart listening to your body and living like that kind of life yeah making decisions based on heart yes you have to be logical but at the same time sometimes it doesn't you know when we listen to our intuition it doesn't give us the logic we just trust and I feel like you'll be trusting. And because of it, your life life is going to improve. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, for some of you, this is like a gift that you had in your past life. You just, uh, you, you're just remembering it now. Yeah, this is a skill. This is a gift that you had. You had it always. But because certain things we have to learn, so it was like hidden. Now you're understanding, yes, this is my gift. So a gift gift this is your gift you're coming in union with your gift guys you're coming in union with your divine calling with your divine counterpart yeah yes look exciting event here again it feels like something has been shaken up in you and yeah now yeah it feels like you've shaken up the energy has changed now you can trust your own heart you can trust who you really are and you're trusting yourself and as you trust yourself, as you make decisions, things are just things are just flowing and things are in flow state. Yes, that's what I'm getting here. <laughs> mm. So let's see. You're balancing your karma, you balance your karma. Yes, that's why. This was there, this gift was has always been there, but it was hidden because you had to learn some certain things. Now you have learned that lesson. And that's the reason this is opening up. Now you're coming in together with this gift of yours. Or with this person. Yeah, that's what it is. It can be a person. It can Mostly it's a gift. Yeah, in the month of December, something might have happened. Yeah, and that was the start. Now you're understanding the gift. Yeah, yeah something might have happened in the month of December here. <laughs> so let's see what else here yeah oh look broken wish that's what is changing for you as unicorn again intuition here yes you will be understanding why the wish was not fulfilled maybe in month of december a wish was not fulfilled for you guys there was an event that you had to attend you were not able to attend you will you're getting all your answers you will be able to 
put your dots together because you're very intuitive again use your intuition to make beneficial changes right your intuition is on point that's what you're more coming in together with and there was something that didn't happen there was an event that you were wanted to go it didn't happen there was an event that you were waiting for it didn't happen and you will be getting the reason why it didn't happen you will be getting the reason of your wish not coming true because you will exactly know why it didn't happen and you will be grateful you will be you will be able to uh, connect the dots yes so you will be able to connect the dot divine was always protecting you if something didn't happen if a wish didn't come true it was for a reason and you're getting all your answers because you are intuitive guys your intuition is so strong <laughs> you can trust it so let's see what else something didn't happen in the month of december you were disappointed and you will know exactly why it didn't happen. And you will be grateful it didn't happen. Because there is amazing things coming your way. When we are, you know, when we are trusting our intuition, when we are in the flow, thing, amazing things happen. That's what is starting for you guys. You're going to be in flow state. So let's see. Okay, you, wow, look. Look, the spotlight here. Welcome, the muse. Yes, you are understanding your gifts, who you really are, what you are here for. Because you're, you're in alignment with your intuition. You know exactly what you need to do. That's what it is. You're getting all your answers here. And the reason why some certain things didn't happen, you're understanding that as well. Yeah. So we have love and life, love joyfully. Yes. Oh, we have number 31. It reduces to number 4. We have 4. Maybe you're someone who's seeing 444 four, four a lot. Yes, 444 four, four a lot. You might be seeing 444 four, four, and 444 four, four talks about like, again, the four things, 1111, sp spiritual union. Yes, it can be that as well. Um, it can be something that you're uniting with, as I mentioned, that is, uh, yeah, you're, you're, maybe you're uniting with uh, something that you really, really wanted, uniting with your gifts that makes you feel safe, secure, and you are born with this gift. You are born with a gift. But some, something got lost, right? Yes, maybe there was an error in the software. <laughs> yeah, we can see it like that, right? Maybe there was some error in the software, so you were not able to get to that uh, gift of yours. Like, yeah, that was hidden somewhere. It was a hidden file. Now it's no, no longer hidden. Now you can understand who you really are and you're coming out in spotlight. You can see who you really are, what are your gifts. And now as you use those gifts, to your, you will have a very peaceful, joyful life here. Yeah. So let's see the final message here. Oh, this is all about your gifts. You're coming in union with your gifts. For some of you, this is for your person as well. And something that didn't happen, it, happened. it was for a reason, guys. And you will know all your answers. You're getting all your answers here. Some sort of event that you were waiting for, it didn't happen. There was a reason. Some wishes didn't come true. There was a reason. You were always protected by Lord Krishna. You were, you have, you are, you are the chosen one. I have to say, group number three. You are the chosen one, and you will be understanding that in the coming days, in the coming time. So let's see the final. You are understanding all about yourself, who you are. There's so much more to you. You are understanding that one by one, one step at a time. Oh, the vision quest, look at it, and the lightning, yes, 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 it's you understanding about yourself, look at the number 30 and 60, <laughs> yeah, 30, 60, 3, 6, from 30 to 60, a jump is happening, with this lightning, yeah, you were in this place, now you're in some other place, because of this gift, so this is like a lightning, you understanding who you really are, you're getting your answers, there was this void feeling, why yeah yeah there was this void feeling in you you, you wanted something else like you 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 thought that there is more to you and you're getting your answers you're getting your answers suddenly unexpectedly that's what it is and you will have yeah with this look light you know you know what you want to do yes your spiritual gifts like your intuition will guide you right that's what the message is here so that's what is starting for you guys uh life 
where you will be living based on your intuition trusting your intuition getting your answers one by one getting the answers from your soul knowing who you really are what why are you here for uh, you know getting the answers from the past as well uh, connecting the dots why th- certain things didn't happen balancing yourself yes you're coming in union with you in a way with your own soul in a way yeah so that's what the message is for my lovelies hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye so group number 4 this is the image that you have chosen let's see what is starting for you so okay so are you uh, learning more about quantum leaping quantum physics <laughs> something like that maybe you're applying those techniques and you will be seeing great results Uh, so I feel like one of the things that is uh, starting for you is like you will be seeing your manifesting manifestations coming much faster than it used to come. Uh, for some of you, your sleep as well. Maybe you're manifesting good sleep. Uh, maybe you have issues with your sleep, and you're doing something, and uh, you will be seeing that now you can sleep easily, and uh, yeah. Uh, no nightmares if you had nightmares before you're not having those nightmares so good sleep i'm getting if you have issues with sleep you're finding a ways where you can sleep is uh, easily like yeah maybe you, it used to take like 30 minutes or 40 minutes or 1 hour 2 hour to sleep in that in that yeah that's changing for you guys you will see that you're sleeping easily and when you wake up you have a lot of uh, energy Yeah, maybe you are doing certain techniques like quantum leaping, maybe to sleep properly. And that's working for you. So something that you're manifesting, the manifestations are coming faster. Yeah. So let's see more. Okay. I feel like you're raising your vibration though. So group number four. What is starting for you? <clears throat> oh wow. Okay. so for some of you look we have three keys we have three keys okay we have uh, a gun we have a train uh, we have the sea horse we have the i i take this as the taurus the bull and then we have this witch flying in her broom and train so definitely it feels like for some of you you will be traveling in your dreams okay and <laughs> And uh, yeah, it feels like that. So some for some of you lucid dreaming, uh, yeah, astral 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 travel. Are you trying to do that? So in your, your dreams are going to be very important here. In your dreams, uh, you can yeah you can change your reality or maybe if you're trying uh, to shift during your dream yeah dream state like a shifting like reality shifting. That is all I'm getting here. so you will be seeing yourself in a new reality you're going to experience the, that you're going to experience it you know, there are a lot of meditations like that where people have said that they uh, they want you know a specific reality and they see themselves in that reality maybe you will have that experience here if you're trying that's definitely there okay so yeah other thing i'm getting here is like whatever you're doing it's working so maybe for some of you you're applying certain techniques to experience astral travel maybe you're uh, you're um, you're learning about quantum jumping you're right on track with it you will be getting success with it so whatever you're learning you apply you will get the right results for some of you you're using these techniques in order to manifest more money or maybe you're using these techniques to improve your health you're using this techniques to improve your relationship whatever it is it's working out yeah that's what it is <laughs> yeah i act on the charms that's what i'm getting here so let's see uh what else for group number 4 what is starting for them okay we got two cards i'll take that um so wow cornucopia oh my god look you're making your wishes come true here and we wow okay so one thing that is starting for you is something that you were envious of that thing you're getting here so you had look at this woman she has a silver but she is envious of the gold but with this card here you were envious of the gold now you have the gold so something that you are envious of you have it now maybe if you were envious of a kind of relationship now you have if you are envious of someone sleeping like in 5 minutes now you have that yeah if you were if you were if you were envious of someone 
uh, having this much amount of money now you have it that's what is starting for you guys your wishes are coming true this cornucopia whatever you want it's happening here again the manifestation manifestation again the taurus energy the second house right money the house of money wealth security stability uh, you, you it feels like you're manifesting the things that you want it feels like some of you are working with astral travel like lucid dreaming and you're getting into that reality so there are certain techniques that you're doing you're raising your vibration and that's why uh, whatever you're manifesting it's coming fast so one thing i'm sure here what is starting for is you is like something that you were envious before you will not be envious because you will have it that wish is coming true for you guys okay so if you were envious of a particular kind of home, that is your home now. If you were envious like these people don't have that much responsibilities I have, you don't have that responsibility anymore. If you're envious of a position, you're getting that position. That's what, that's what it is. Okay. So let's see what else. Oh my God, that's a lot. <laughs> And again, in order to get to this thing, you had to let go of that envy as well, isn't it? Sometimes being in that energy of envy, is, envy we will not get that thing. You have let go of it. But here, what I'm seeing is like some, and, and, uh, you know, at one time you were envious of this thing. You wanted to hold it. You wanted to have it, right? But now you have it. You will have it. That, that wish is coming true. You know, sometimes we are envious because we feel like we cannot have it. And that exactly thing, exact thing is, let's see what else, here for group number four. Oh, Rowan, Rowan, number 21, number three, right? Number three. Oh, we have this needle and the thread, right? Yes, yeah, so you can see anything, you, know, you can make anything that you want. So once you thought that was not possible, it's possible. Now you have the tools and it's possible. And these tools are the knowledge that you didn't have before. And that's why you were envious of certain things. Now you have the knowledge, you're using it to your advantage and you're getting exact things that you were envious before. Yes, that's what I've, I feel like. That's what it is. You're making your wishes come true. Once you thought that you, it's not possible for you. you. You had this wish, you wanted it, but you thought that it was not possible for you. And that's why you were envious, right? Because you thought that you can have only this one. You cannot have that. But now you have the perfect resources. Like again, the information, right? Now you know exactly how to make it happen for you. That's what it is. Yeah. So again, it, it has not been an easy journey for you guys, right? Something, yeah, you might have been envious of certain things that comes easy for other people. Like the clear skin, for example, some of them has clear skin. They don't do anything, but they have clear skin. Sometimes we become envious of that thing, right? Because they don't have to do anything. Now you have perfect resources to make that clear skin. So that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, now you don't have to be envious. And so be proud of yourself because uh, those things didn't came easy for you. <laughs> Again, this can be like you you understanding a lot about quantum jumping. You using these techniques to your advantage. You using your subconscious mind in a way that will give you the results. You're doing the work. So yes, appreciate yourself. Appreciate yourself because sometimes some things come easily, but it didn't come easy to you, right? So let's see what else here. Okay. Yes, King of Swords. Wait a second, my cat is like... Oh. <laughs> Wait a second, guys. I'll just open the door again. Okay. So we have the King of Swords here. Yes. Look. Uh, this skill you have developed. You have cultivated it. It was not. It was not given to you. Sometimes everything is given to other people. For example, uh, maybe if you look at someone who is rich, it's the wealth has been given to them. They don't have to work hard for it, right? And sometimes we become envious of it. Oh, they were born in a wealthy family, so they don't have to work that hard. So yes, uh, yeah. And I feel like those things that you were envious for, you cultivated it. Those skills that you were envious for, you cultivated it. You got the resources, you got the understanding, you worked on it, and now you're cultivating it. Now you have it. You have it now. Now you're becoming that 
uh, king of swords who is skilled, who, who uh, if, he, if he wants to make something, he's going to make it. You're becoming that, okay? Okay, so let's see. Yeah, wow, the emperor, yes. Yes, you, okay, it feels like position, getting a position that you wanted. And for that, you had to face a lot of things. You had to balance something in yourself. You worked really hard. Now you're getting it. You raised your vibration. You cultivated the skills. Now you're getting what you want. You're getting the position that you want. Yes, you, yeah, you were looking at someone who had, uh, like, they were very good in communicating and it came naturally to you, or to them, but it was not natural to you. You worked really hard and now you're applying it, right? You're, you're showing it and now you're getting that things that you always wished for. That's what is starting for you. For some of you, this can be a position that you wanted, uh, yeah, uh, yes, position, um, yeah, a name to yourself. Maybe for some of you, it can be wealth, anything or a skill, uh, yeah, you're getting something that you were envious before. That's what it is. So let's see, what else is it? So <laughs> look, wish, 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 a wish that you're envious for. You thought that you, you know the reason why you were envious? Because you thought that they got it easily and you have to work hard for it. But you worked hard, you applied the techniques, now you have it. You have that wish. Yes, a wish is coming true for you guys. Cornucopia. And that to a wish that you thought it will not come true. And you were envious of that wish, but you worked hard, now finally you have it. That's what is starting for you guys. A promotion, it can be a, a, a position, it can be like that. Yes, oh wow, we have plenty of material things. Yes, money, uh, her home, again cornucopia, harvest. Look again, if you look at this, there's a lot of vegetables and fruits. Here also, we have a lot of, like a lot of, lot. It's going to be a lot. You're getting it a lot. For some of you, a lot of money. A lot of happiness, right? So something that you wanted. Oh, you have January and May. Wow. And we have the key. Yes, you because you got the key. You got, you understood how you can make it happen. There are certain techniques. Or you, you have understood how to raise your vibration, how to get to it. Instead of feeling envious, how to make it happen, how to manifest it, right? So by May month, maybe you started this technique, applying this technique in January, by May month you will have it. Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> or maybe if you're watching uh, later, maybe January and May month will be important. So yeah, if you're watching when I'm uploading, May month, it's fast, it's coming, it's coming. You have gone through a lot, finally. Hmm, you're getting your desired wish. So let's see what else. A position, a high, higher position as well in work. Uh, it can be anything, but this is a wish. Yes, okay. Yeah, the reason why? Because you changed your mindset. You, ch you changed this envious thing. There was this envy and that was a huge blockage here. And you got why you were not able to make it happen. And once you let go of that, you, once you changed your mindset, once you applied the techniques, again, I felt like you applied like quantum leaping, quantum jumping. I don't know what kind of techniques you applied. Maybe you have read Transurfing. You applied those, med uh, the, those kinds of meditations, right? Because in Transurfing, I feel like it talks about a script that has been handed over to us and we just follow it. And once we are awake, we can make our own script. You're doing that exactly. You're writing your own script. So you're getting everything that you wanted, that you thought that you cannot have it because of your mindset, right? Now you changed it. Now you're getting exactly what you want. Yeah, so that's what it is. <laughs> so yes, you're getting your wishes, a lot of happiness, a lot of materialistic things. Uh, yeah, because you've got the key. You have the wisdom now. This wisdom helped you to change your mindset and the moment you changed your mindset, you got it. And this is, yeah, this is coming in the month of May. Maybe you started doing this in January. In, okay, so if you are someone who is watching it later, maybe in five months you will get it. If you have started now, it now, you will get it in five months. So let's see the final message here. It's about your, your manifestation game is going to be very good. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Final, oh, oh my God, that's a lot. Okay, so let's see the final message for group number four. Okay. 
so we have the wind oh wind change right wind talks about the change the wind of change so things are changing for you guys the things that you thought that will never happen is happening the wishes you thought this is a wish that you thought that you will not have because you're envious of that wish but you made it happen you let go of that envy you got the key you understood what you need to do and you're making it happen that's what it is the position that you thought that will never be yours is, is yours now a relationship like a relationship that you always envied you thought that you will never have you're changing something you're changing the mindset and now you have it so winds of change life is changing here so yeah that's what the message is for you guys or group number four hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye if you have been attracted to this image this rainbow dragon let's see what is the message for you guys um what is starting for you this is starting for you so colors again colors colors hold power right they have you know each color has particular vibration right they carry something so use colors to your advantage if you have like a closet only certain colors you wear wear more colors because it will really help you uh, with manifesting certain things into your life so if you want to manifest more money use green candle like that use it okay use colors to your advantage you know work with colors that's what i'm getting here and another thing i feel like you are someone who can read auras you can see auras or maybe you're starting to see auras or or even i feel like you can sense the energy of other people you can scan through other people's energies so you know who is uh, who is lying who is who is honest you can read through people okay that's one of your skill or maybe that's what is starting you can read through people your observation skill is high level you can uh, yeah you can see the body language of people and and know if they are lying or not you're very good at it so yes uh, so no one can manipulate you anymore no one can gaslight you anymore you are a deal okay you're becoming the best version of you you hold power so yes that's what i'm getting here so let's see uh, for group number five this is starting for you yeah you hold the key to the knowledge the wisdom right and this wisdom is yeah yeah it i'm i'm seriously what i'm getting is like a person um yeah a person who can read through the auras they can see the auras and they know exactly what this person is going through and once we understand that we can help them right your knowledge can help other people change certain things in their life so uh, so if someone is dealing with certain things and you can you can understand what is the issue so you can give them the key so they can change their life for the better so it feels like you are not only changing your life you are you're helping this knowledge and wisdom that you have to make changes in other people's life so you can really read energy that's what i'm getting here and you know i'm getting this author carolyn miss she actually understands like she read through the energy she, she yeah she can see through the uh, yeah the yeah she can read energies i feel like so if someone is sick she can understand what is the disease how 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 they can like get rid of that disease like she helps like that that's the energy i'm getting here yeah whatever you know maybe you can uh, help people with their mental health emotional health or maybe what they should do to get the success you can read through them i feel like that and and don't be afraid to give that knowledge to them because it will help them yeah at first you yes every time we don't know whether uh, they're making progress or not maybe you can help um, a stranger you might help a stranger but you don't know the results but be very sure of yourself your own wisdom your own knowledge your own intuition because you will be changing lives i feel like that that's what is starting for you your wisdom your knowledge you're giving the key and it's helping other people to change their life so whatever you're doing keep doing because it is bringing a lot of changes into other people's life uh, and uh, yeah look we have the change we have the butterflies we have the dragonflies uh, yeah your wisdom your knowledge your intuition is changing people's life so whatever work you're doing do it with confidence i feel like you're already doing it with confidence believe in your work this this work that you do maybe you're not getting the acknowledgement but yes many people are yeah many people are getting that help yeah so that's what i'm getting here so let's see what is 
uh, group number and I'm yes you're becoming your best version as well for some of you your child childhood dream is coming true maybe your childlike version wanted you to be a specific person you're becoming that okay so let's see what else here what is starting for you your what is starting for my panel of five yeah. Yes, you are helping people to release from their own energies. That's what I'm getting here. Yes, you are the one. Your knowledge and wisdom is helping people to get out of this tight energy. Sometimes mentally we tie ourselves. You're the one who is helping them. Let go of that. You're, you're, uh, you're the one who is showing them a pathway. Your work is showing them a pathway. Your work is healing. That's what it is. Okay, maybe you're already doing the work, but... Right now, I feel like you're not getting that recognition. That recognition is coming here. Okay. Your knowledge, your wisdom, keep doing what you are doing because it's really helping people. Okay. Don't ever question your work. Oh, wow. Yes, definitely you're a healer. There is no doubt. Right now, I feel like you're not seeing it. You're not seeing that. You're not seeing that. And that's what I'm getting here. It's, it's kind of an appreciation as well. So, um, yeah, you are a healer. With this Ar Archangel Raphael coming, you heal people through your knowledge wisdom through whatever you do you heal people and as you heal people i feel like you're in this journey where you're healing yourself you're becoming the best version of yourself now you can read through the people you can scan energies of the people you can you can feel how how they are feeling you can help them you can give them solutions so do that do that do that with confidence because really it's changing other people's life so maybe you are a singer through your voice you're changing other people's life uh, maybe whatever work you do, you're somehow somewhere giving some sort of hope to people. You're healing their heart. Okay. I feel like uh, the, uh, the color green is coming up, right? And the color green is the color of the Archangel Raphael. Maybe you work with Archangel Raphael. Or uh, maybe this is, a time, this is the time where you should work with Archangel Raphael. Call upon him. He will give you more healing information. Like it feels like he's the one who gives the healing information. And here you are like that. Right? You are the one who is giving them some sort of information that will help them, benefit them. So you are the one who is giving them the solution. Like you, you, look, you can scan other people's energy and you know what's best for them. You give them the uh, guidance. Like maybe you're just talking to your friend and they share some issues. You just, you just feel like this is what I have to give and you give and it really helps them with their life. Yeah. That's what I'm getting here. <laughs> Maybe many people have not, you have not gotten the acknowledgement, I feel like that. Maybe you don't get the feedback often. Uh, I feel like your spirit team is coming here and telling you that, yes, you're changing people's life. <laughs> As you become your best version, you're changing people's life. You can read the energy. Uh, you can see through the facade, trust your instincts. <clears throat> you're a healer. There's no doubt. Your information is healing. Whatever you share, your wisdom is healing. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, you're like the book. Yeah, you're like the book who gives the information. That's what I'm getting here. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes this information might not be comfortable, but it's where it is needed, right? You're the person who might put a seed onto other people's mind. And at that time, they might not acknowledge that, but later they will think and they will work and they will change their life. You're that person. Your work is important. Your work is important. It's becoming more important. I feel like you might have, you, you're, you're already doing this work, but you might have not gotten the recognition, but now more and more people will recognize you for your work. Yes, more and more people will want your services. Yeah, more and more people will be like, yeah, she knows that. He knows that. He, they, they can help you. Just go and talk to them. Maybe you just have a conversation with them and it helps them, right? Yeah. For some of you, you really help with other people's mental health I'm getting here. Yeah. You bring solutions where people feel like there are no solutions. You bring answers where people have lost hope. You're the one who gives hope in a way. That's why you're the dragon. You're the powerful. Yeah, you are so powerful. And your wisdom, your knowledge is helping people. You can be a nine to five worker, but yet the way you approach people, the way you talk to people, it heals people. Your energy is healing. 
and I feel like you're someone who has a lot of information here, a lot of information. But sometimes when we give some sort of information, you know, some people are not ready. It can pierce through them. It can pain them. But that's what is exactly needed. Yeah, sometimes it's needed, right? Uh, yeah, you're like a mirror. They, yeah, sometimes we got to show them the exact thing. But maybe they're not ready to see that. So at that time, it might be uncomfortable. But later they will recognize that yeah, that's what was needed. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're becoming the best version and you're helping people to become their own best version. You're someone who is helping with confidence. You're inspiring people. You're motivating people. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what your job, your work is, I feel like. that. I feel like you're going, going to be recognized for that. Interestingly, we have the number 17 and 17 is the star card in tarot, right? Number. So yes, recognition, your wisdom, your knowledge is going to be recognized. It's changing people's life. So be, be, be proud of yourself. I feel like your spirit team is really appreciating you. And I feel like whatever work you're doing, it's you're, you're going to see the results, right? Uh, maybe for some of you, you will be getting good feedback from people. Yeah, more recognition. That's what is starting for you guys. You have been doing this work. You have been working on yourself. Um, but, but sometimes there is no recognition, right? But I feel like more recognition is coming your way. So let's see what is for my group number five. I feel like people will respect you more. Yes, and the way you are living life, many, many, many people will be influenced by it. Yeah, and they will be inspired to do what you're doing so they can change their life. You, Yeah, you being yourself, you being in your own energy, you're just living your life, you're inspiring people. And that's what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's see. So I feel like you're becoming very successful, a lot of success. You have already had a little bit of success, more success. So yeah, eight of cups. Oh, we have the rainbow. So yeah, again the star. So eight of cups, you know, sometimes people are stuck in a situation. They don't even see that sometimes it's their own energy. Yeah, their own thinking, their own limited patterns that is stopping them, right? you and make them understand that it's okay to leave that situation so they can move on to this next like new life right so you are the one who help people with their emotions to let go of certain things to let go of the fear you motivate them you inspire them yeah it's about your work i don't know maybe you're a healer maybe you do a spiritual practice but whatever it is it's it's gaining momentum like the energy is gaining momentum more and more people are recognizing your work you're being appreciated that's what i'm getting so let's see <clears throat> for you what is over you know uh, a time where you did a lot of work but no recognition now you do things and you get recognized for it recognition is what i'm getting here so let's see what else yeah king of cups yes you balance people you balance their emotions you help to balance uh, uh, people's emotions here a balanced person can only do that a healed person can only do that right and you are doing that it feels like a person who has healed themselves, heals their mother, right? Now you have healed, you're poised, you believe in yourself, you don't doubt yourself. As I, as I told you, you're a deal, right? You're a big deal. Uh, now you know who, mani mani who, who manipulates and who you should trust. You know who you really are. And once a person starts that, like understand themselves, they can help other people to understand. Yeah, uh, you, you have gone through all those fears. And you have gotten out of that. You have seen your limited patterns. You have worked through that. And now you will be helping people to move away from that fears. So they can have that balanced body, mind and spirit, right? You're, you, it feels like the bird flying. You're, you're the one who is giving, like your words, your knowledge is helping people to gain that freedom from their own mindset, right? Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what else. We, are, we have nine of wands as well. Yes, you show the two sides of themselves. 
that's what it is you show the light side and the shadow side of themselves so sometimes that's the reason sometimes your information will prick them right like the arrow it will hurt them but later they will know that that's what they have to do that's what they have to work so your words the, the way you talk sometimes it can be blunt right because you're going to see the truth you see the truth and you share the truth and sometimes it's hard to accept the truth so that's why they might not accept it at first but they will uh, but what is your job is to just put a seed and you put the seed and that will be that will stay there right then they will recognize yes it was my shadow side that was coming in between my success i had to let go of and they let go of they changed their life and i feel like already many people uh have changed their life because of you <laughs> and i feel like that recognition is what is coming here so be yeah be proud of yourself you yeah you can see the darkness and the light of people you're that you can see the darkness the light their dark side you can see their light side you can see and a person who sees that they can see their own light side and dark side isn't it and once we start seeing that we can let go of that 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 thing and um, replace it with something that will benefit us and that's how we become the best version of ourselves so yes i feel like you will be respected for your work you will be valued for your work yeah, it's not only recognition it's, not, it's just you will be valued for the work you do okay <clears throat> let's see whatever you do yes look the knots sometimes people get entangled in the knots of life and they don't understand that life is a game and we got to play it nicely right and you are the one who will show them like how we can play our games how we can uh, yeah it feels like the florence coalition book a like okay, yeah life is a game and how to play it <laughs> so yes you are making them understand yes sometimes life will gives us these kinds of knots we cannot feel like that we will not be able to uh, take you know untangle that knot we can we can get out of that knot and you the one who will help them yeah that's what it is your work is whatever you work doing work you're doing uh, yeah uh yeah yeah okay so we have a man so first oh one more thing i have to say is like there might be a person in your life a man you uh, you will you you are changing their lives yeah it can be your spouse it can be your father uh, whatever you're doing right now whatever wisdom you're giving it's changing their lives for the best it's changing their life for the best you will be seeing their growth their abundance maybe this person means a lot to you okay maybe it's your husband right maybe it's your brother but whatever inspiration that you're giving that's that's what you're doing yes maybe they don't appreciate it maybe they're not showing that kind of recognition they will they will show you that recognition like because of you because of this wisdom that you gave me my life changed thank you like you will get that kind of uh, appreciation from a person yes you have helped a person to leave something behind and you're 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 inspiring them to listen to their heart more yeah you're making them understand who they really are that's what you do you you may you help people to connect with their own wisdom their own heart their own talents and you help them to release the release from the knots of life right so yeah you can be a wife giving that advice to your husband maybe right now they're not seeing it but it's helping them and once they will reach that goal they will give you that thank you <laughs> so many people will appreciate you maybe the your loved ones maybe strangers i don't know but yes appreciation particularly a man will really appreciate you okay so let's see <laughs> <laughs> look you are you're going to be celebrated guys you will be celebrated people will celebrate you your work will be celebrated there is a lot of happiness joy fun so there are more colors coming your way like this man will celebrate you they, this person will be thankful that you are in their life right yeah so let's see oh i'm hearing that angel song you my angel something like that 
Yes, you will be their angel. So, yeah. Your energy is very high vibe. I have to say that. It's healing. You being you is healing. You don't have to do anything sometimes. Your energy is healing. The way you pray is healing. Yeah. Very high vibe. So, let's see. Yeah, look, we have the wood dragon. You have strength. Wow. You're reaching a milestone. You are reaching your milestone. Something that you want. If you have a milestone that you want to reach, you're reaching it. You are reaching it. That's what it is. Okay, that's what is starting for you. Something that you have been working on, you will be celebrating because you're reaching a milestone. <laughs> so let's see the final message for my lovelies. Group number five. I feel like... Not many people will choose this group. Very less, few people only will choose this group. Oh, we have the hummingbird. Look again, a cycle has been completed. A phase of your life has been completed. A new beginning is happening. A beginning of joy. Like where you're reaching that milestone, right? Yes. Oh, 26 might be an important number. That might be a clue. Maybe it's your birthday date. Okay, it can be your birthday date. Or it, uh, it like the number eight might be of significance here. Eight, eight, eight might be a number you're seeing. So, yeah. And I don't know why I'm just gonna end the reading with reading uh, this message from this the book. Okay, I just feel like when I feel, I do. <laughs> okay, so in, in this we have the essence, the invitation, and the medicine. So I'll just read everything for you guys. Okay, the essence. Despite being so little, hummingbirds are great journeyers, migrating between North and Central or South America to feed from the summer ne ne nectar. This gentle creature can be fiercely territorial to protect its home. Hummingbird teaches us to be gentle to ourselves and protect our personal space. Hummingbird invites you to embark on your epic quest, bypass the dung pile of old pain and hurts, head, of, head for the flowers, and learn to trust the calling you have here ever so softly softly this person in your life i'm getting very strong energy of a man this person had gone through a lot in their past okay and so because of that they became hard they were a gentle person but they became uh, hard because of the life troubles they didn't understand they were always a very sweet soft person they got untangled right and you're untangling them one by one by one. So if this is your partner, maybe when you got married, this person was a little hard, right? They might have loved you, but you were not able to see their deepest love. Now, you, in just an example, if this is your partner, yeah, something happened in their past. And because of that, they have to wear that kind of shield, right, to protect themselves. They always did. But... The, the love that you're giving to them. Yeah, you're showing so much of love because you are a high vibe person, right? And the way you deal with them, you're changing their life. And now what is happening is, what is starting for you guys, if this is your partner, you're going to see their true side, true authentic soul. And that's so loving, that's so caring, that's so gentle. So if this is your partner, your marriage is going to be so awesome, guys. I, I really feel like that because you two are going to be high vibes. So through through you, this person is becoming much softer, most very gentle. They're leaving that pain, hurt behind. And their authentic side is coming out. And you two are going to live a very wonderful life. I have to say, if this is your spouse, if this is your brother, I feel like you are helping them. They will be appreciating you. You will be seeing the growth. And through your brother also, you might get something, right? They will, they will, they will recognize you. They will, they will give you the love, right? I, I really feel, feel like you will be, yeah, as they heal, you are, they, they are only not getting the advantage. You will also get somehow, some way. <laughs> I have to say that, okay? So the invitation. The buzzing you feel is the sound of your hummingbird wings, preparing you to say yes to a new adventure. This is not the time to linger on what has gone wrong, but to trust in the rightness of, mom, of the moment and take bold action. Trust that success is assured, even if you must face tests and challenges to reach your destination. Know that all will be well because... The all is in the small. Again, reaching that milestone. 
I'm seriously feeling like if there has been a goal, you are going to reach the milestone. You're going to get the results. Uh, some so, see, yeah, something that you wanted, you desired. It's coming. So the medicine. This mighty being comes to teach you stillness in motion and to trust your inner knowing that the sweetest nectar is assured. Failing to act when the moment is right can spoil your journey. If you feel your safety, comfort or day-to-day -day survival are more important than saying yes to the invitation to explore the unknown, you will have to work much harder to achieve what has been offered to you freely now. Still your mind even in the midst of your very hectic schedule and heed the gentle voice that calls you to test new wings. Again, you are going to take this person out of their comfort zone and that's not only changing your life, their life as well. Yeah, you, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm getting here. Uh, this is, yeah, changing this person's life in, somehow will affect you in a very positive way. So yeah, that's what I'm getting here for you guys, group number five. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. I have been drawn to this image. Let's see what is the message. What is starting for you? You know, I heard when I, when I saw this image, I, I just felt like sudden breakthrough. So something that is co coming out of nowhere some sort of information that is coming out of nowhere that will help you with your breakthrough. So something, yeah, some sort of breakthrough that you didn't expect. It's coming very suddenly, very unexpectedly. So that's what I'm getting here. It feels like straight from heaven that has been given to you guys. So some sort of breakthrough that you don't expect. Uh, that's what is coming here. That's what is starting for you. And this breakthrough will lead to a lot of success, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some it, it can be a, like an idea that will change your life. It can be a person coming out of nowhere, giving an opportunity, changing your life. Some sort, uh, like, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. It is going to be very unexpected, coming at a very unexpected time. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. It's like the sudden rain that you never expected. You know, the morning was all sunny. It was not even cloudy, cloudy and then suddenly it rains. Uh, yeah, and it, and it was it it feels like it was summertime and everyone was waiting for rain, but they didn't didn't expect it to happen. So it is it is like that. You're waiting for this breakthrough, but it you never you didn't expect it at that time, and that's what is coming. Yeah, again, look, we have Lord Krishna as well, and uh, so it, it feels like suddenly, suddenly something is being given to you guys. Suddenly the key is being handed to you guys. So things will change. The uh, yeah, uh, the sun is shining like because the, you're getting this this thing. So job is come, it's job opportunity maybe, yeah something some sort of major breakthrough is is on the way for you guys from all these charms also I'm getting here. So you have been waiting on something. Uh, yeah, you want like again right now I feel like this breakthrough is coming. So pre, uh, you know conserve your energy for it because uh, yeah right now maybe you don't have too much going on, but there is this breakthrough coming. So you will have to put a lot of effort as you're getting this opportunity as you're making the move and all. So uh, right use this time uh, to just uh, you know take rest <laughs> because I feel like things are going to get very very busy for you guys. Yeah, suddenly things will be busy. If nothing is going on right now, things are going to get busy for you guys. From all these jumps, that's the message I'm getting here. So yeah, so let's move on to the cards here. So it feels like you have been praying for something. Yeah, again, it, it, it's summer season. Everyone is praying for rain. But today has been very, the sh bright, sun was very sh bright, like it was too hot. No one expected to to rain and suddenly there is thunder there is heavy rain <laughs> that's the energy here okay so let's see what is starting for you guys wow oh for some of you this is love again you know we have the sixth ch uh, chakra this can be some sort of uh, ideas as well and you apply this idea a sudden idea you get like uh, an idea can change your life you know we say that and like that a sudden idea and you work on that idea and that brings a lot of rewards. So you, you're getting this idea, so you have to work, you have to put the effort. Things will not be this calm, because you will have to put the effort, right? For some of you, this is a person who is coming, giving their heart, sudden. Yeah, someone is coming and com confessing, suddenly. <laughs> so yeah, and you're like, ah, now I, I to, yeah, I'm ready for love, I'm open for love. Or maybe you like this person, and now they're also saying that they like you back. 
isn't it? That's a breakthrough. <laughs> you never thought it. And now you're in a relationship. Now you're speaking in phone. You're not this calm. Now you will just like at 3, 3 a.m. in the morning, you're talking to this person. So things are going to get busy. <laughs> That's the feeling here, okay? Again, it can be an idea that you're getting. And now you're like, I want to work. I want to do this. Or it can be a job. Uh, yeah, so now you have to get busy. You will be busy. That's what it is. So like, Let's see uh, what else here. Group number six. A breakthrough is at hand, definitely. There's no doubt here. Yes, right now, take the break. Now, right now, sip your tea, relax. <laughs> right now, do that because things are going to get busy. Things are going to get busy, guys. So one of your advice is to take a break, calm down, uh, don't think too much, uh, clear your head uh, because you will not have this much time. You will be busy in the coming days. There is a lot of busyness. There is a lot of hurry -burry. There is a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so just now, right now, if nothing is going on, Nothing major is happening. Just enjoy your life right now. Drink your tea. Just watch that movie if you want to watch. Because things are going to get busy. <laughs> so let's see what else here. Okay. So. You have two cards. Wow, we have high priestess. Oh, this is something you have been manifesting secretly. That's what is coming here. Out of nowhere. Look, we have the five of cups. This can be a secret relationship that you have with your with this person. Like, for example, you have a crush, right? And you have say, hidden this thing. You have not talked to it, to anyone, right? You are only the one who knows that you like this person. Hmm? <laughs> this is what you want. You want this person to know you, get to know you, but you are someone who hides. You're not showing that to this person, right? It, it feels like a crush. And you feel like that this crush will never be mine, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to share my feelings with this person. And I'm in a, in my mind, I'm with this person, right? <laughs> but at the same time, you're not with this person. And suddenly, this person comes and tells you that they, they like you. This is the energy here. So something that deep inside is, it's there. It's a secret. It's a secret with you. You want this thing. You're dreaming for this thing. This is what your heart wants. But you haven't shared it with someone. You know it. It's your secret. And now you're getting it. This is a prayer that is coming true. This is a wish that is coming true. This is something that you want in your heart. For many of you, this can be someone uh, telling you that they love you. Right? So, but you always wished that this... Yeah, you wished... For this person you wanted this person you had a crush huge crush it feels like you know in movies when we see someone has a huge crush and they don't even think that this person likes them back and suddenly they come and propose them that's the exact energy i'm getting here <laughs> i even feel like this group you might uh, uh you you are a little bit of a diehard romantic not everyone but i feel like someone around here is a diehard romantic you really believe in romance, like you love romantic stuff. But maybe you will not show it to people. No one will, like if, if anyone wants to talk about you, they will never know that you are this diehard romantic. It's all secret. <laughs> that's, that's something I'm getting here. So yes, you want that kind of like Prince Charming coming and asking your hand for marriage, like that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so you are going to be in love for some of you. That's what that can be the thing. Suddenly, you this person falls in love with you, or you fall in fall in love with you. <laughs> that person, uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, it feels like a star has been given. Like interestingly, your image had a hand, right? The hand is coming out of nowhere, right? You didn't expect this to happen, but you wished. It was a secret, deep. But it's happening. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you never thought. You thought that it's not going to come true. But this look at the five of cups energy here. You never thought. Like you have this. You like this person. But you know. 
ah, this is not going to work out. This person will never like me back. So I'm not even going to take that one step. Yeah, this can be with anything. I'm just saying it with love. This can be with anything. This is deep in your heart. This is something that you really want. And if it's a love relationship, this person is going to be romantic. Very romantic. Yeah, let's see. We have plenty of material things. So you will be getting gifts. <laughs> yeah, for some of you making money, getting this job. Yeah, some sort of breakthrough that will lead to a lot of good things. A lot of materialistic things you will be able to buy, you will be getting gifts. You know, when people get married, they buy a lot of new clothes. In my tradition, it's like that, you know, when you're getting married, you get a lot of things, a lot of good things, a lot of stuff. <laughs> it feels like that. Yeah, or again, you're getting a salary and you can buy whatever you want, right? So let's see, or maybe someone is spoiling you by buying you a lot of things. Okay. So we have a period of, yeah, okay. For some of you, look, you're getting out of this period. So yeah, again, flies with chamomile. So yeah, you have been not so busy. I feel like that. Things have been very slow. Things have been not been moving forward. And suddenly, everything is like shaked. Like the thunder. Everything is shaking. Things are changing. <laughs> you were in your home. Watching the movies. Right? Now you're not in your home. You're going on, out on dates. That's what the change is. You're going to get busy. You're going to get busy, guys. So take the rest. So let's see, things are going to get busy, things are going to be awesome, you will be happy. Okay, for some of you, changes because of your job as well, okay? But this is something I, I feel like you deeply wished, secretly you wished, but never told to anyone. That's what I'm getting here. You wished for this kind of relationship, but you never told. You you will show everyone that I don't want a relationship. I, I'm I'm happy single. Yes, right. And you you lock your door and watch romantic movies. Like you know, that's the energy I'm getting. I'm just giving you the message. <laughs> but now you're getting that. Like that's the change here. Great passion. Oh my god, things are definitely getting busy. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, there will be great passion, a lot of intimacy. Mm, yeah. Ah. Okay, okay, so let's see what else here. Mm, yeah, something that has been lacking in your life. Something that has been lacking in your life. That's what, in that area, there is the breakthrough. That is the area. Yeah, you're very, uh, yeah, you, you might have felt like people talk about it as well. People can see through it. Yeah, you might have even felt like that. That other people, you, you might have felt like other people talk about it, that you like this, you like that, you don't have, you're not getting, you're not getting married or something, anything, it can be right. This is in an area of your life. Yeah, again, in an area of your life, you feel like you lack something. In that area of your life, there is a lot of abundance here. That's what it is. So get ready to be busy. Okay, so yeah, things are changing. So let's see what else here. For my group number six. Yeah, oh, we have like what you shall you find. You're seeking it somehow, somewhere secretly, this thing. You want it. You want this thing. That's what is boiling. That's what is, uh, yeah, it is cooking. It's stirring. You're going to get that result. So it feels like a... Uh, it has been very slow. It, it was not moving. Something that we, you know, there are foods that we can cook very slowly. Uh, if, if we cook slowly, then only it will taste good. It takes a lot of time. And that's what was happening. Behind the scenes, it was happening. You couldn't see it. But now finally, the final product is there. <laughs> Out of nowhere, you're getting it. And like, look at the number 55. Movement, again, the horse energy. You're moving forward. So this is something that you have been seeking. This is something that you have been wanting. 
you have been desiring this you have been feeling lack also uh yeah that's changing for you guys here okay and that's all that's the message here i feel like your message is uh not yeah not long uh, so let's see the final message here for my lovelies group number six okay the ancient ones oh we have the number one so this is something that has been hidden from you for a very long time it feels like you've lost something now you're getting it back out of nowhere like suddenly a hand from the heavens is coming and dropping that thing yeah it, it, yeah again it, it really feels like that you know this energy where you you know it is yours but you cannot find it anywhere and now suddenly you're getting it it's not something that you have lost as well like again this relationship like it's not lost it's not i, I don't feel like it's you're reconciling with someone that's not what it feels like it's like you know that you're meant for this like sometimes we feel like we want this you know this is a desire that we have sometimes we don't talk about our desires we keep it hidden we keep it secret we don't even share it with anyone right yeah and you felt like this is something for you you know because our soul is desiring that and that exact desire is coming true for you guys out of nowhere that's the rig through here okay i hope this makes sense it's very different right so that's all i have for my lovely group number six hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye, -bye.